Good day. I am Dr. K. Giresh, physician, neurophysician and neurosurgeon. This is the RNA series, number 22. RNA means random questions in neurology and neurosurgery with answers by me and that is Dr. K. Giresh. This is to benefit the practitioners of neuroscience, neurologists and neurosurgeons are also all in the medical field for a lifelong learning and also for public awareness. In this series, I am addressing this very important question. What are the features of double suture craniosynostosis? Double suture craniosynostosis can be bicoronal, bilambdoid or sagittal plus metopic. If two skull sutures fuse, the condition is called double suture synostosis. Examples of double suture synostosis include the bicoronal brachycephaly, bilambdoid and sagittal plus metopic. Bicoronal brachycephaly. Now this forms a synostosis happens when both sides of the coronal suture they fuse together. It can cause a short and a wide skull. It causes vertical growth of the skull. That is Turi brachycephaly. Bicoronal synostosis is often diagnosed in children with Eppert syndrome and Cruzon syndrome. It is also found in children without these symptoms. Bilambdoid. In bilambdoid synostosis, both sides of the lambdoid suture fuse. This condition causes the skull to look wider than normal. Posterior brachycephaly. Sagittal plus metopic suture. This type of double suture stenosis occurs when both the sagittal and the metopic suture fuses because both sutures run lengthwise down the middle of the head. This type of synostosis creates a head shape that is long and narrow called the scaphocephaly. So the double suture synostosis, when if two skull sutures fuse together, the condition is called the double suture synostosis. Examples of the double suture synostosis include bicoronal, bilambdoid and sagittal plus metopic suture. That's indeed the answer for that. Thank you. Thank you very much.